New York or nowhere, it has become the unofficial slogan of this city. And now there is a brick and mortar store in Nolita, and I'm getting the story behind the brand and a first look at the store. New York or nowhere, N-Y-O-N. Yep. This has been a long time coming. Yes. For anybody who yes. hasn't seen the logo, who doesn't know the brand, what would you say you guys are all about? We're a brand about New York City. And I think what we've managed to do is, is productize an emotion and capture sort of how people feel about this place in product, which is um, a really challenging thing to do. Mm -hmm. You're also looking at the person, not only is she the co-founder of New York or Nowhere, but this is the New York City Instagram right here. If you've seen that handle, this is her. Okay, so let's talk about what New York or Nowhere means. How did you guys come up with this? I came up with New York or Nowhere um, in 2015, just kind of on accident. And since then, it's obviously taken on a life of its own. We merged the, the product and the media side with the Instagram account um, and the IEP, and, and this is kind of what has been born out of that. You know, before we started filming, I actually got a little bit emotional because I was telling you about my connection to New York or nowhere. Yeah. And I think like so many people, you know, especially in New York City, with the pandemic, it's just, things just changed. And there was something about seeing New York or nowhere, I think it was on the side of a, of a building. Yeah. And uh, I lost it. I mean, I think, especially during the pandemic, New York or nowhere to me meant intention, right? It's like, I, no matter what's going on here, like this is the place that we're staying. And, and Liz and I were here throughout basically the entire pandemic. And I think it just resonated with people. Like, you know, people needed a rallying cry. They missed New York, even mm -hmm. though they were in New York. And New York or nowhere was, was a way that they chose to sort of represent that feeling. And let's talk about some of the ups along mm -hmm. the way, okay? <laughs> there have been a few. Maybe yeah. we could start with Sarah Jessica Parker. That was a big one. It's that was very exciting to see someone like her in that show wearing one of our items. It was a happy surprise. It's so interesting. You walk into a store, you don't realize how intentional everything is. We picked out every single Detail. thing that is in yeah. the store. So it's very rewarding to see it. This is very reminiscent of the exterior of Grand Central. We have Art Deco sconces, all out of the Chrysler building. And then below you is a mosaic that was hand chopped and the border around the outside is inspired by the Greek coffee cup. And let's talk about the merch too. Yeah. I see candles, I see hats, we got the tote bags, what else? Blankets, zip pouches, there's one right behind you that was made by our friend Alex. Headwear, accessories, a lot of art as well, mm -hmm. which has been kind of a differentiating factor for us as a brand. Not a lot of people sell wall art and, and ours does quite well. To really be back in the heart of Soho and Nolita and this area, it's I think is you know, there are no words to really express how grateful I think we are. Yeah, gratitude is, is the word that's being thrown around the most yeah. right now. 